So, you remember this pedal series from Blackstar? Maybe you don't. But if you don't, it's okay, because this pedal is today's forgotten gem of the past. So if you have followed this channel for a while, I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking to yourself, Robert, what in the hell are you doing demoing a Black Star pedal? You hate Black Star. Uh, I don't hate Black Star. However, I have known be I have been known to not exactly be their biggest fan of a lot of their products. You know, that said, they actually, you know, the HT series pedals that were out in the early, mid, maybe, you know, maybe late, maybe into the late 2000s were actually really, really good. And I do really, really... I, there's, a, there's a couple of pedals out of the series that... Uh, uh, a couple of them that I that I did hear that I really liked and a couple of them that I never did get a chance to hear that I always wanted to try. Uh, of course, these are tube-driven pedals and uh, in that same series, they had the they had an overdrive, a dual overdrive pedal called the HT Dual, uh, which was, you know, basically a, you know, a tube screamer on one side and a hot-rotted tube screamer on the other, but it was a really, really good sounding tube screamer circuit. Uh, really one of the best overdrive pedals I've ever heard, you know, believe it or not. I really, really like that pedal a lot. Then there was also, they also had one called the HT Dist, D-I-S-T, uh, which was the distortion. They had another one called the HT Metal, which I never did get my hands on one of those. I've always wanted to try that pedal. Uh, and then, as I was scouring the interwebs here recently, I ran across this pedal. This one is called the HT Dist X, or Distortion X, if you will. And is labeled as Pure Valve Filth. So, <laughs> uh, I gotta admit, this is the reason why this is today's Forgotten Gem of the Past is because this model, I don't really remember that much. And, you know, really, as a matter of fact, I don't remember it at all. Uh, so, I'm assuming it is somewhere between the, you know, the regular distortion, which, you know, would be like a British rock distortion, I'm assuming, and the metal distortion, which, of course, is going to be a high-gain scooped-out type of thing, I'm assuming. Uh, so, I'm assuming this might be somewhere in between. I don't know. Uh, to be honest. So we are going to find out together. So we are going to find out together and I'm going to uh, conduct this demo a little bit differently. I don't think I'm going to run this thing into the front end of my uh, Laney IRT studio just yet. Uh, I think I might just because it has an emulated out uh, an emulated output on it seems to indicate that it's also designed to be used as a preamp. So I'm thinking I may just go straight into the interface with this thing and see how it operates as a preamp. You know, then we'll try it a few other ways and go from there. Then maybe we might even record a track with it. Who knows? We'll see.
So what'd you think? I thought it was pretty cool, actually. Let's take a closer look at it. You know, you, you know, the control, the the controls itself are pretty standard on, uh, you know, like they are on most distortion pedals. You know, of course, you got your gain, your level, and you know, this one has a three band EQ. Uh, really, about the only oddball control on it is the ISF control, which is pretty common amongst really most, you know, a lot of Black Star pedals and amplifiers. Uh, that basically, what that control does, I kind of going from one direction to the other kind of goes back and forth between a British and, uh, and, an, and an American type flavor. I ran, in all, in all the demos you just heard, I had that setting sitting right around 2 o'clock, 2.30-ish. Uh, so, you know, which I think is a little, little bit more towards the British side. Uh, and of course, the you know elephant in the room is this guy. This is of course a tube-driven pedal, which that I believe is actually a 12 AX7, uh, 12 AX7 preamp tube that is uh, driving the whole thing. And of course, there's your input, your output on that side. And as I mentioned earlier, this one also does have an emulated output. Uh, I used the emulated output for the playthrough demo, but I actually used the standard output for the track demo that you just heard. So get a little bit chance to hear them both this right here is probably why black star doesn't make this line of pedals anymore because if you can't read that that says 22 volts and then of course there on the back side is the famous label and skew number and serial number and all that stuff so okay now that right there is probably the reason why black star quit making this line of pedals 22 volts 22 volts is compatible with absolutely nothing else why they made a line of pedals that requires 22 volts that only their proprietary uh power supply can run is absolutely beyond me and that is that also does present a danger when you shop for any of these lines uh, any of the pedals out of this line on the used market because there is a very strong possibility that it's not going to have the power supply with it. So, and that was actually the case with this one. Fortunately, I did find a seller on Amazon uh, that does have them in stock and was able to send me one within probably a week or so uh, and cost right around 20 you know, 24 25 bucks or something like that it wasn't too crazy expensive you know very reasonably priced and it wasn't it wasn't a black star branded one but uh you know it arrived and it does seem to run this pedal efficiently and just fine that said you know if you were considering this pedal you know tracking one down or any of the other pedals out of this line be prepared for that uh if you get one without a power supply you can track one down but it's going to run you another 20 to 30 dollars or so to get a hold of that the other thing about this pedal, as you can tell, I mean, this thing is a tank. I mean, this thing weighs like eight pounds. I have guitars that don't weigh as much as this pedal does. This thing is an absolute tank. Uh, I would, you know, part of me wants to crack, wants to pop off that back panel and crack this thing open just to see what in the hell is all the, all the inside of this thing. I mean, it's got to have a transformer or something in it. I don't know. Uh, but it is big. It's big and tall and heavy and built well, built like a tank. You know, knobs are all really, really, you know, you know really, really tight and, uh, you know, turn really, really well. You know, the switch, you know, has the momentary style switch on it so you know that's not going to wear out anytime soon you know overall it is built extremely well and as i'm looking at it a little bit closer i'm realizing that's actually an ecc 83 preamp tube on the inside of this thing not a 12 ax7 though they are virtually you know very very similar anyway if not the same thing that said i picked this up used for i think uh it was listed at right about right around like i think it was 68 i think it was like right around 68 dollars uh, I happened to have a gift card that was getting ready to expire that I that I used to buy mine, so I was able to pick it up for a little under fifty, pay for the power supply, and that's right around uh, you know still gets me right up around almost the eight seventy five eighty dollar mark, and uh, which is right about you know what these things sell for on the used market killer sound and high gain distortion pedal. I really like it, uh, the sound of it. You know it has its has its features about it that I don't like but you know overall as far as tone goes uh, I think it's killer uh, the emulated output on it uh, actually sounded sounded pretty good I didn't know what to expect but uh, you know it did sound 
pretty good. Honestly, it's, it sounded very, very similar to the, to the standard output, just, you know, much, much lower impedance. But, you know, either way, both of them sounded pretty good. The second, both the playthrough demo and the track demo that you just heard, by the way, both uh, both outputs actually went into the two notes captor. And uh, I used the emulated speaker output on that device as my cap. So, yeah, cool little pedal. I would like to be able to check out more from this series. So maybe a few more will come my way one day. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Links to, uh, as I can find them anyway, all of the gear used in this video will be down in the description. Please don't forget to do the like, share, subscribe thing. And as always, adios. See you later. Bye. And we'll see you in the next video.